Hello, good afternoon. It's Tuesday afternoon. Just want to do a brief message. As I've said in the past, I try to keep this every four or five months or so, but with all the information regarding uh, pool waivers, toward immunity, and a few other things, I'm going to make a short video to once again reinforce what we're doing here. The pool will open on Memorial Day weekend. I believe it's a week from Saturday. Um, we're going to make the pool as simple as possible, okay? But first, let me tell you what we're doing. You have to, there's waivers that are going to be with the front doorman that have to be filled out. These are COVID waivers to uh, take the building off the uh, hook, let's say, regarding any lawsuits regarding catching COVID at the pool, et cetera. This is being done, as far as I'm concerned, about 99.9% .9 of all condominiums, co-ops, et cetera, having waivers signed. This waiver is for the residents, of course, residents only. I've mentioned this in the last video. There will be no guests allowed. We're trying to keep things down. If guests start, you know, um, you know, bringing into some legal uh, problems, et cetera. So we're keeping it to residents only. And um, <clears throat> if you're a renter, uh, your landlord has been mailed, I believe yesterday or Monday was mailed a waiver that they have to fill out. You will then have to come down also to the office and fill out a waiver as well. And uh, you will not be allowed to the pool area, okay, without a waiver sign. So if your landlord is um, lax on this, I suggest that you give them a call or get in touch with them to ensure that they fill out these paperwork, okay? So we're going to do that as well, okay? Regarding the tort immunity, like I said, I'm trying to keep this short. We need about 450 votes. And we have to get two-thirds of the unit owners, okay? At this particular point, we have 268 votes the last time we checked, which was about a, all of about an hour ago. And uh, we're way off, okay? We're a couple hundred votes off. Let me tell you a little bit about tort immunity one more time, okay? It does not mean that you cannot sue the building, okay, if you get injured somehow. It just means that you can't sue the building if the building is, is gro it commits what's called gross negligence, which means that... Uh, something was brought to our attention or we knew of an existing situation that was dangerous and we didn't rectify it, okay? So we're asking people to uh, vote for tort immunity. The tort immunity is not just for the pool, okay? The tort immunity is for the community room when it's finished, the gym if we put one in in the, in the near future, um, the card room, or any of the facilities that we have here, okay? That, that applies to everything. So the tort immunity isn't purely for the pool. All we're saying is that we want people to sign something. And, and again, we need two-thirds vote. It doesn't mean that we need two-thirds vote a yes. We need two-thirds vote, okay? And then, of course, you know, whatever the majority is, that's, that's the way the vote's going to go. We urge you and beg you to please vote for tort immunity, okay? Uh, if, if you've disposed of your ballot, there's more available at the office, and if not, please, you know, place it in the um, office, uh, you know, outside the dorm, and there's a box outside for toilet immunity ballot. Please, I'm, I'm urging you, okay? We're trying to do the best we can for the building. Um, I want to mention also that by Saturday, they'll be finished from 31 through 26, putting up the wallpaper and our renovation. They're going to do approximately about two floors uh, per week. So, and they're also, the carpeting is coming in much, much sooner than we thought. We anticipated the carpeting coming in sometime in July. We should be getting the carpeting sometime in the next couple of weeks. So we will start putting the carpeting down and where the wallpaper has been put up already. We expect the um, a tile, okay, that's going to go around the elevators and the porcelain that's going to go on the walls of the elevator to come in sometime in June. So we're moving very, very quickly, and things are turning out very, very nicely. So we'll continue on that. We still have not picked out the lights that we want for the hallway. We're still working on some odds and ends, and we're going to be putting numbers outside everybody's apartment, which will be on the wall. It will be very, very nice. So there's a lot of work, and things are moving along. Um, masks. Just want to mention that before I sign off here. For whatever reason, I have no idea what the reason is. Masks are mandatory. Number one, we're still in New Jersey. You have to wear a mask. Number two, okay, this is private property. We have a lot, we're allowed to, even if they say you don't need a mask anymore. I am, it's very unneighborly not to wear a mask. And for whatever reason, I was mentioning the Chris Murphy a little while ago, we've had more mask violations in the last five days than I've had in the last four weeks, okay? I don't know what it is. People 
uh, for whatever reasons, not wearing the mask. It's, it's uncomfortable, I have to tell you, getting in an elevator or dealing with people who don't have a mask on. I find it uncomfortable. So anyway, please, you know, continue on with this. We're trying to keep the building safe, and we're trying to be, you know, in my opinion, it's, it's not only a health issue, it's a neighborly issue. It's very neighborly to wear a mask. Anyway, that's the story. As far as the pool goes, before I sign off, let me tell you what we're doing. It's a little different than some other communities, okay? Uh, one community right near us, you have to bring your own chairs. They're going to limit how many people go, et cetera, et cetera. Another community next door to us is going to have, uh, they're going to close the pool different hours of the day and do certain things and uh, have reservations only, et cetera. That's all fine and dandy. What we're doing is we're going to open the pool like we always do. We're going to keep people six feet apart. We're going to clean on a regular basis. We're going to sterilize the chairs as when people leave the pool for the day. When you get up, we have a machine, I told you, that's going to basically disinfect them. And we're going to do the best we can, and we're going to change on the fly, meaning that, you know, if we find that we have to make adjustments this summer, we're limiting people or things such as that. We'll do what we have to do to keep it safe. But we're going to open this up and make it as uh, friendly and as nice as possible seeing the fact that we didn't have a pool last summer and uh, uh, we're trying to enjoy ourselves. Some people have been locked in a house for, you know, or their apartment for a year and a half now. So anyway, that's basically it. Keep in touch with us. I just wanted to give you this update. Again, toward immunity, please, okay? And again, the waivers. Also, again, here we go again. I always forget something. This Saturday, okay? This Saturday, I'm not even sure of the date, believe it or not. Anybody know the 22nd. date? 22nd. I'm sorry, this Saturday, um, we were going to keep the office open from 9 to 12 for anybody that needs to get, you know, their waivers or get any, and their pool passes as well. So we're going to have both Stella and Antonella will be here on Saturday to take care of you on that, okay? That date is what? The 22nd. The 22nd. May 22nd, 9, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m., the office will be open. Take care. Have a good summer. Please try to behave at the pool. Thank you very much.